Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service. We hope you've enjoyed the beautiful day that we had. It was such a nice weather to be this time of the year. And uh, I guess we better try to freeze frame those days because it might change. But anyway, we w welcome you to stay tuned uh, with us tonight because we <coughs> have some singers and we <coughs> do have some phone operators and we uh, want to uh, uh, try to try to just worship the Lord together. And uh, so uh, as we, as we <coughs> think about all of her help, we need to continue to pray for Dottie. And, uh, and Don, I went to see him today and he was, uh, uh, he was there with two big red blankets on his bed. So I think he's looking for Santa Claus or something because, or he's got a birthday coming up this month too, the 18th. So he might be uh, uh, expecting something for his birthday. But anyway, he's uh, taking therapy and they're working with him and, and uh, so he appreciates your prayers. And so if you want to send him a birthday card, well, that'd be fine here. And then we take it to him. All right. Well, our scripture tonight is talking about uh, things that we can do that to grow, grow us in the Lord. You know, we have to have food to eat to stay well and to, a child has to have it to grow. And so uh, as the Lord's children, we need to know and practice the things that he's already given us that will help us to be closer to him. And um, so tonight in Philippians, the fourth chapter, now these are some really, really strong uh, uh, things to think about. And uh, it says for what we could, we are to do, it says to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. That, that is telling us not to worry nor fret about anything, but in everything keep giving our requests to the Lord, but... Um, uh, to continue to thank him and uh, if we do this now you know we can all uh, we all might have to say we're guilty on this because it says to not not fret nor uh, have any anxiety about anything because that where it says to be careful for nothing uh, so okay in other words we say we believe the Lord is taking care of everything but how many of us, and I got both my hands and toes up too, sometimes we do a lot of worrying instead of trusting. We know that God's in control. We know He has our breath in, in His hand. But yet we still we uh, get anxious and we try to figure out what, what His plan for our lives are. But here if we don't, don't fret, don't... Uh, uh, have any anxiety, but continue to make a request known to the Lord. And it, then it said, The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. 
Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, then if there be any praise, think on these things. See, this would clear our mind from a lot of worry and anxiety if we just followed this, to just think about the good things, the, the good reports, and everything uh, that we hear a lot of days is all negative, and it's, it's not to build our faith, but let's go back to the Word and try to be uh, a little more what the Lord wants us to. And uh, another verse down here, it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, because within ourselves, we cannot, we cannot uh, accomplish that because there are just too many things that are coming at us, but with the Lord's help, we can. We can, and we need to uh, think on these good things. We need to be able to uh, not worry nor be anxious. If we could do that, then we could all get better sleep at night because we, we, get, a little, we get a little hopped up of wondering, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Well, if we believe God's going to take care of it, then what are we doing? We can't control it anyway. So let's just continue to pray, make our requests known to God, tell Him what we need or what we think we need, and then He's going to give us peace. That's what we need is peace. That's what the world's looking for. And it's very scarce in this world, but, but you know, we're still serving... A, a true and living God. He still, he hasn't changed a bit. Our world has, our, we all change, but God hasn't. And that is where we can get our comfort, knowing that he still loves us, he's still with us, he'll not forsake us. And so we should do what this verse said, to not worry or fret, but to commit everything to him. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this scripture. We thank you for the promise that you gave us at the end of it. If we do our part by not worrying and fretting and being anxious, then you're going to give us peace of mind, and that's what we need. And so, Lord, we thank you for that, and we thank you that you care so much for us. You, you cover every detail in our lives because we know we, everyone has something to be uh, anxious about or to be concerned about, but but emotionally we should be able to commit it all. So we ask you to help us, forgive us where we fail you, and help us to be more Christ-like and be able to turn more things loose and trust you more. Bless all of our sick people, the ones that are viewing tonight, and uh, the ones that will be calling in. Bless our guests and our phone operators, our our staff and everybody, Lord, we all stand in need of your prayers, uh, your blessing through our prayers. And so we thank you because we know that you are not going to leave us nor forsake us. And we praise you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. We have a group tonight from McKee. I think this is the first time they've been here as a group, right? Some of them have been here uh, with others, but... They have chosen the name Standing in the Gap and from McKee and their phone number is 606-493-9090. Well, that's an easy one. And uh, they're from different churches, so we're happy that they're here working for the Lord. So let's uh, go to them right now. Standing in the Gap. Mark, we want to thank you for letting us be a part of this program. Uh, we enjoy it. We watch as often as we can, and I've always enjoyed it. And some of Brenda said she'd been here 20 years ago, so she's back again. And we are from the San Gap Baptist Church, United Baptist Church in San Gap, and from also the San Gap Holiness Church. Our pastor at the Holiness Church is uh, Brother George Mullins, and from the Baptist Church was Brother Wayne Carpenter. So we thank them for allowing us to to use their name and their. We're all here. Like we said before, when we are talking earlier, we're here to serve the Lord. And, um, you know, we all believe alike. We believe in Jesus Christ, Son of God, died on the cross and rose from the grave. And I think we can all worship that together. Amen. So we're going to sing. Um, we're not nothing new. We're going to sing just uh, 
old hymns and a couple of things we've sung before. So we're going to sing the first one. I'll be listening. Ready? <clears throat> when the Savior calls, I will answer. Barbara Rose, our good friend, uh, she's been sick and having a really hard time, so I want to make sure that she hears and knows that song is for her, and um, also for um, my son Stevie and Sharon. They've been going through a lot of problems, health issues, and I want to dedicate that one to them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just tell you who we are. Some of us uh, are new. This is Judy Golden. My husband, Nolan Lear, Kaylee Kidwell, and Jessica Harrison. That's her mother down there. And this is Brenda Gabbard uh, on the piano, and she's a blessing to us to help us out. Amen. Amen. Okay, girls. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more.
send this out to my good friend Eugene Gentry over in Lilly, Kentucky. He's been having a hard time here lately. My Aunt Ella Jones out of Somerset and Ruby Jones, we met her the other day from over in Chestnut Flat, I believe it is. I'd like to send it to my nieces, Michelle and Tanya. One glorious day Jesus came and made me whole. He so completely satisfied my soul. But when I faced life's troubled stormy sea, I wonder if he is satisfied with me. I want my Lord to be satisfied. I'm satisfied with God's great redemption plan. I'm satisfied it's sufficient for all men. I'm satisfied with his work on Calvary. But is my Lord fully satisfied with me? I want my Lord to be satisfied with me. I want my life to be what it had it be. And when I come to that great eternity, His smile will say He is satisfied with me. Lord, give me strength, give me courage, make me bold. That I might lead some lost sheep unto the fold. That I might stand on thy word on move for thee. That you might be fully satisfied with me. I want my Lord to be satisfied with me. I want my life to be what he has it be. That when I come to that great eternity, his smile will say he is satisfied with me. I want my Lord to be satisfied with me. I want my life to be what it had it be. That when I come to that great eternity, His smile will say He is satisfied with me. His smile will say He is satisfied with me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're going to let Kaylee lead this song, and y'all listen. She's 16 years old, and we are so proud of her. She yes, sings at amen. the church, and we, I really appreciate Kaylee. Yes.
Okay. Oh, that's a strange part. Two goats before me and old and a new. Oh, I could have either, so what must I do? We'll send that, that one out to uh, Wayne Carpenter and Anna. That, uh, Wayne likes that song real well, so we're going to let him enjoy that one. There's a happy land of promise over in the great beyond Where the saved of earth shall soon the glory share When the souls of men shall enter and live on forevermore Everybody will be happy
sing God's praise, everybody will be happy over there. There we'll meet the one who saved us and who kept us by his grace and who brought us to that land so bright and fair. We will praise his name forever as we look upon his face. Everybody will be happy over there. Everybody will be happy, will be happy over there. We will shout and sing God's praise. Everybody will be happy over there. We're going to go let Brenda. Christmas time uh, pretty soon, and we're going to be celebrating the birth of our Lord Savior. We're going to do another Christmas song, um, "Beautiful Star of Bethlehem." If Brenda, you want to lead that for us too.
send this out to Eugene and Vicki Webb, the Webb family, Gina and Michaela and Anna Leah, my granddaughters. Yeah. 
had so much sickness in our church and so many people hurting for different reasons and yes. but we sometimes we fail Judy to um, thank the Lord for what blessings we do have I never want to stop to pray not praise him for all that I do have him to yes. thank him for Amen. sing up girls hey Glenna I would also like to dedicate this song to my friend Pauline because right now she has a lot to thank him for yes her amen God. amen bless her Lord <coughs> When I look around and see the good things he does for me, I know I'm unworthy of them all. And his blessings he freely gives, I owe my life to him. I've got so much to Stand back here and let her do it. I've heard about this baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy, and I just want to sing this song to you. It goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift. With every breath I'm singing hallelujah. A couple came to Bethlehem expecting child. They searched the end to find a place for you were coming soon. There was no room for them to stay. So in a manger filled with hay, God's only son was born. Oh, hallelujah. 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 The 
shepherds left their flocks by night to see this baby wrapped in light. A host of angels led them all to you. It was just as the angel said, you'll find a man, a manger bed, and may you well and save your hallelujah. A star shone bright up in the east, to Bethlehem the wise men three came many miles and journey long for you. And to the place to which you were, the frankincense and golden mirth, they gave to you, we cried out, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I know came to rescue me this baby boy you would grow to be a man the one who would die for me and you my sins would drive the nails in you that rugged cross was my cross too still every breath you drew was hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good job, Hannah. She was worried about singing that song, but she's a little timid, but I think she did a great Amen. job. Brenda, you got one you want to sing? You want to sing another one? Okay. <clears throat> okay, sweet by and by, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it far. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet. Thank you so much. Standing in the gap for McKee. They, uh, they did a good job blending together. See, that's why we all belong to the Lord's family. So when you work together, it uh, comes out good. So 
We appreciate their uh, singing the old songs tonight. If you'd like to get in touch with them, the number is 606-493-9090. And uh, they will be glad to hear from you. All right, we have a number of calls here. Uh, Roger and Dolores and Tony and Charlie and Shannon and Wallace said tell the singers they did a wonderful job and they really enjoyed them. So it, we got a nice uh, call here from someone in Fort Wayne, Indiana. You know, recently we've uh, had a uh, another telethon to try to help with the expenses of the ministry. And um, so here is a lady, uh, Stella Day from Fort Wayne, Indiana. She is calling in a $250 gift to the ministry. Thank you so much. And it's in honor of Dottie and of Don. Well, they would appreciate that because they both of them have been such a part of the ministry. All right. Thank you, Stella from Fort Wayne, Indiana. She also needs prayer. And here's uh, Gladys um, having eye surgery. I said Jimmy passed away, and uh, I'm not sure about uh, several other requests there. Frida from Johnson County. <clears throat> Beulah from Pulaski County for all of her family. And Peggy from Breathitt. She has several uh, families' needs and so forth. And Ernestine from Carter for uh, her mom, Myrtle and uh, also to pray for their preacher. Uh, preachers get sick just like everybody else sometimes, don't they? Uh, Tony from Powell County, he's thanking the Lord that he's better than what he has been. Terry from, uh, Menope uh, from McKee, rather, infection in the lungs. Uh, Diane from Breathitt County. David from Garrett um, uh, has a... a has uh, lost a family member and uh, is having a difficult time dealing with the... They was married for 47 years, and uh, so he's having a difficult time getting used to uh, uh, being alone. Uh, Melissa from Corbin uh, for herself, uh, heart issues and so forth. Um, from Wayne County, two sons that has the flu. Bertha from Pike County praying for Dawn and myself and Dottie and she loved the singing tonight. Uh, Margie from Powell County uh, for uh, Kevin. Uh, Linda from Morgan County, COPD acting up. Thelma from Madison County for all of her family. Uh, uh, Bobby from Greenwood, Indiana uh, pray for him and his son. Helen Lewis from Round County said, Tell Don happy birthday and Merry Christmas. All right, Helen, we'll do that. Um, so uh, Charles from Jackson County needs prayer. Um, a Silas, a sailor from McGoffin County, uh, he always wants to pray for his family, and he's in a nursing home. We need to pray for all the people in the nursing homes. They are, they're sick and they're away from their families and it's it's hard on them and uh, so we need to remember to pray for them help carry their their burdens because they when you're sick you you can't really pray like you do otherwise Wayne from Knox County really enjoyed the singing tonight and has uh, some needs Phyllis from London not doing well still in the nursing home and, and Mickey is home but still needs prayer um, this one is from uh, from Laurel County for uh, Walter, and it comes from his wife. From Frankfurt for Aunt Shirley, that says uh, cancer has come back, and they've given her a short time to live, and and uh, there's some other needs on here from Frankfurt. Jane for from Prestonsburg for a nephew that's in the hospital. Kidney is not working and uh, so forth. A praise report from Priscilla, thanking the Lord for uh, this ministry, WOJC, the Air of Harvest Ministry. Robert from Floyd County is uh, getting baptized Sunday. Well, that's good news. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, 
uh, Johnny Amberg. Nellie has called for Johnny, and uh, uh, they, uh, they, I guess, uh, these calls came in today or last night. So it's good to hear from Nellie and, and her brother Johnny. Uh, a woman from Jasmine County having a dental surgery tomorrow. Nadine from Perry County, a grandson um, lost, and for friends in the nursing home. Brenda from West Liberty, low blood. Uh, Judy from, doesn't say where. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Um, William from Johnson County, prayed for his shoulder, had surgery and other needs. Mary from Laurel County for her eye, having surgery on it. And Joyce said, pray for her. Uh, Sandy from West Liberty for herself. Uh, Tony uh, having joint problems. And uh, Montgomery County, Sherry and her son. Uh, this one's from Lloyd uh, for uh, his family. Um, okay, here's someone from Montgomery County, fluid in his ears and not doing well. And Etta has called for John from Nicholasville. All right, well, we've got, uh, uh, we've got time to pray for these, uh, these needs. And uh, uh, so let's, let's just do that right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for each person that's represented in this stack of people this stack of letters requests you know each one of them we cannot tell you anything about them because you know everything about us you know our thoughts you know what we're going to say before we say it you know what's in our hearts you know uh, how we live and how we should live so lord we thank you that you keep such close uh, watch over us and you guard us and you try to help us and so we thank you for your love for us and we do ask for your blessings on everyone that is hurting suffering and mentally emotionally physically or in any way that is represented here and those that did not call bless our singers tonight and the phone operators and lord you know the needs of the ministry so we we thank you because we know you'll supply them in jesus name amen you know, like I said, we recently had a telethon, and so some people are still calling some in, and it's uh, we've had a, some more trouble with uh, some of the equipment, having to order some pieces that's uh, quite expensive, and uh, I'm going to have it's going to be it's going to be uh, take some of that money that has been pledged, and so. Uh, but we appreciate you caring enough to help, and we know that. The station is a lot of people's church. We hear this all the time, that it's their church. No longer can they get in their car and drive to church like they used to. And they, you miss that. Once you cannot, you're, what you take for granted now, it can be gone in a, in a short time. And then you no longer can go where you want to go. You no longer can do the work you did. And so we should be so thankful for each day if you can, for whatever you've been blessed with. Maybe you're, um, well, it's just, I was talking to my sister and she said, well, they was giving her, treating her eyes to keep her from going blind. Said it won't cure you, but said it'll keep you from going blind. So she's thanking the Lord for that. So, so whatever you've got to be thankful for, tell him tonight. You know, we're to make our requests known to the Lord we're to talk to him. He's our best friend. He's always with us. Uh, sometimes our family, our loved ones and friends, they can't be around all the time to listen to us or help us. But the Lord can. And that's why that we can be so thankful tonight. He knows all about us. We are out of time. So from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.